What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you follow me on all social media. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. I'm on Errol Spence Jr., his verified Twitter account. Follow him, Errol Spence Jr. Now, the boy is the truth. He's looking for a world title shot. And I've been noticing something with him that I like that I want to share with you guys. And that's hunger. You could clearly see it. He just posted this. It's a picture of him and Bundu, his very last fight in New York and caption very simple make your actions speak so loud they can't ignore you hashtag man down which is his his tagline hashtag world title chase hashtag my time right now i was looking a couple a couple posts before and he says hashtag throwback thursday last workout before my last fight how much work you willing to put in when nobody's watching hashtag man down Hashtag world title chase. And I love to see this from the young fighters. Errol Spence Jr., he's anxious for that title shot. I did a video about this. Kell Brook has until October 26th to begin negotiating. Then he has 30 days after that to decide what he wants to do. Otherwise, it'll go to a purse bid. And if he decides not to fight Errol Spence Jr., then he has to relinquish the belt and that belt will be made available. I really like this from Errol Spence Jr. and we need more young fighters doing that. Just trying your best to build your brand, show people you're a regular person, that you're disciplined, that you're hungry, that you want what's yours, you waited in line. There's a lot of fighters, it's it's like, I'm not saying everyone has to be a Floyd Mayweather and, and trash talk and be a villain, but it's the social media age. There's really no reason for these fighters to not be using social media to build up their brand and their buzz and none of these guys are at such a level where they shouldn't be kind of interacting and in the gym and, and posting little things go on periscope go on twitter do a facebook q a build your brand like this is not i mean the blueprint has been set floyd mayweather forever changed the landscape of boxing there's money to be made in this sport but you got to do it the right way and I like seeing this, like Clarissa Shields, two-time Olympic gold medalist for America. No other American has done that. Be at the fights, he went to Canelo's fight, that's where they took this picture. And this is this is what I like to see. He's taking pictures with um, his friend, Willie Monroe Jr., who, who fought on the Canelo card. Make yourself present. Coming for that strap, hashtag world title chase, hashtag I'm up, hashtag man down. He's saying strap me up. This is what I like to see from a young fighter. Act like you, they, I, I talked to some people who have watched Floyd train and been in the camps and stuff like that. And they say what Floyd, what makes him great is his work ethic and his intelligence, of course, but his work ethic. They said as rich as he is, as much as he flaunts his money and stuff, they said the dude trains like he's broke, like he's flat broke and poor. This is what it's all about, people. You have to stay active and, and just let people know that your time is here. And don't be denied. Stay on your path. Errol Spence Jr., it looks like he's eating pretty clean. He's on his way to getting that title shot with or without Kell Brook. And that's exactly what I like to see from a guy like Errol Spence Jr. Now, one of the funny things is I've made some videos where I'm praising the behavior of Errol Spence Jr. And I don't know what it is about boxing fans, but some of y'all are worse than animals. Like, I heard someone who left a comment, oh, you're riding Earl Spence Jr. You're sucking his dick. Like, I'm telling y'all straight up, I don't have time for the foolish stuff. If that's what y'all about, then I'm gonna just have to start blocking y'all. We're, we're gonna make a new no dick rule. Like, when you guys start bringing up, habitually bringing up guys' penises and stuff like that, I gotta cut you. You gotta get blocked because it has nothing to do with dick riding and whatever if a fighter is good they're good you know what i'm saying like if you go to round table pizza and the pizza's good you don't say oh you're dick riding round table oh you're sucking round tables dick like i just don't have time for the foolishness errol spence is a good fighter i see a lot of potential in the high ceiling so that is what it is and i'm gonna give him credit for that you know what i mean and more often than not i've been right when i've given like predictions for fighters and the rest is on him how hard he wants to train and i just for me 
I like where his head is at right now, what he's doing. If he stays on this track, then I think he has, um, he could have a wonderful career. You know what I mean? Surround yourself with other greatness. You know what I mean? Shakur Stevenson. But this is what I like to see from these fighters. Get out and about. I, I caught up with Errol Spence Jr. in Las Vegas. He's from Texas. So that's what it's all about. So keep doing it. Let me know who you want to see Errol Spence Jr. fight. I did a video yesterday about Keith Thurman. He said he's the number one welterweight. Some people will say Errol Spence is the guy to beat or that they can see beating everybody at welterweight. Then you got Pacquiao Vargas. If Vargas could pull the upset or if Pacquiao wins, everybody wants a Pacquiao shot. Floyd Mayweather may come out of retirement. We don't know. Keith Thurman, Kell Brook, possibly. Danny Garcia is there. I mean, the welterweight division is too stacked for these guys not to be going for theirs. And that's really the point of this video. Do like Errol Spence Jr. Have fun with your training camps. Have fun with life. Enjoy. Work on your skills. And really just do that. Try to get sponsors. Try to get paid. Get cashed out. And, and make the noise you need to make to get to the next level. You know what I mean? It's with Russell Westbrook. Some people say they look alike. And I just like to see the guy working. You know what I mean? He's, he seems like a very humble champ. He's, he's trying to work. And... I, I respect it. So let me know what you guys think. Who can beat Errol Spence Jr. Late night road work or track work. Not road work. And let me know who you think can beat this Olympian. Drop in the comment section. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.